just crossed over into the twilight zone. The twilight zone. You are now traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but a fuckery, but a fuckery so insane that the human mind can hardly comprehend it, and can hardly comprehend it. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. There's nothing wrong with the television set. Do not attempt to adjust your camera. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, it's your boy CJ, and we back at it like a crack addict with a bad habit. And today, we just with another log cow. It's your boy, not my boy, might be your boy, not my fan bases, but some people's boys. It's your boy Cyrax. This little log cow. And if you don't know what a log cow is, it is somebody that gets made fun of on the internet for probably being themselves. Or being too truthful. And some of these law cows get way too much hate. Honest to God, there's King Cobra JFS. Cool Taste, I guess he doesn't. I guess he treats his animals like shit. If you don't know who Cool Taste is. He, yeah, he kind of deserves it, I guess. But there is some law cows that just don't deserve it. And then there is some law cows that do deserve it. And that happens to be your boy. Cyrax, the guy right here, this guy right here, this little gremlin looking infested, mite infested, he looks like your regular gas station crackhead that you find at 3 o'clock at night. This guy is a little gremlin where if you cross the bridge you might see him underneath it and you might have to pay the toll. You gotta watch out for this guy. This guy is a little greasy bastard. I can't stand him. He treats his mother slash grandmother like shit. His real mother died. So his grandmother had to take him in. Put him under her wing. And he has not left that wing since. Ah. And he treats her like shit. He actually went to jail for a day or two. For putting his hands on her. For choking her. I can't fault with you. Who does that? Who? Who does Who? that to somebody that raised you? That probably treated you like gold. You go and have to do that. You go and do that, you're you're sick. He also messages underage girls. What did you say? Minors. And this is a fact. And he's 31. He's not like 19 or 20 years old. He's 31, and his his excuse is he looks like a 14-year-old kid, and he might look like he might be the size of a 14-year-old kid, but you look like an 80-year-old at the same time. It almost looks like you're like 45 years old in Benjamin Button times. You don't know whether you're old or young. People, it's it's a mystery. He just made a video not too long ago, probably a week or so ago, and it's called Clearing the Air. And what ended up happening was, he, if you know, does anybody know Danny Brown here? If y'all don't know who Danny Brown is, he is a, he is a hip-hop artist. He is a lyrical hip-hop artist. He's actually a really talented person and really funny at the same time. My white girlfriend called me monkeypox. Hold up. What's good, Danny? I'm a nigga, and I have a white girlfriend like you, Danny. <laughs> Whoever this is, he need to, I need to hire him as a writer for the show. He's hilarious. We've been dating for a few years, but for a few weeks ago, we were chilling in the whip. She was just talking this shit. Now, we usually call each other cute and funny names, but this particular time, she made a remark and called me monkey pie. <laughs> I mean, it's just a funny bitch. It sounds like you got a, uh, you got a funny bitch, man. In the moment, I giggled, but then thought about it. It was like, nah, don't say that. Did she giggle back? Said it's just a joke. So, what would you have to have your current girlfriend said to you? Wondering out of curiosity, podcast going crazy, many blessed. I mean, I think she's hilarious, man. I really love girls with a sense of humor, and uh, 
I mean, she kind of calling you gay a little bit too, you know? She's like, you a gay nigga. I mean, what you want to call you a gay nigga or call you monkey pox? I mean, so, but yeah, she can't say that. I got to stay in the car. Just tell her, don't, don't bring that shit in public. You know, y'all might get in trouble. And what happened was, Danny Brown ended up finding a video of Cyrax and laughed at him and made fun of him like we all do. And Cyrax did not like that. No, 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 no. He started calling him a PEDO. He started reflecting. He started projecting, as I should say. I'm pretty sure Danny Brown's fans did not like that. And uh, Cyrax had to make a video uh, apologizing in a way and not in a way at the same time. It's a good old Cyrax apology. He starts it off with saying sorry, but then ends it with a but. So technically it's not an apology. Maybe in Cyrax's terms, but no one else's. Man, I have a cold right now, sorry. And I don't have my dentures in, so my S's sound retarded. So let's go. What up, y'all? So... This video is not synced up. I'm gonna see if I can sync it up while editing. I don't know, but... This video is not synced. While I'm watching it. Just letting you know. I'm here to clear the air on some shit. Oh, are you? First off... You wish you could clear some air. You can't even breathe in that room. How can, How do you think you can clear the air, metaphorically speaking? How? How? Dude, all the trolls run their mouths first off. Fuck you. But to Danny Brown, dude, I do want to say that I apologize, man. And to everybody else out there, you know, I said, um, I actually just found out from my sources, from the whole shit from earlier yesterday, um, I don't know the full story. I was just going off of what they were telling me. Cyrax, Cyrax, Cyrax. One, you're, what happened there? Maybe if you listen and take in some knowledge from, from your boy CJ, you were talking to trolls and the trolls knew what you were going to do because you're so predictable. So you made that video, and that's what the, that was the whole point was to get you in beef with Danny Brown, and you're just too dumb to notice that. Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me. Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. All your fans aren't fans. You might have maybe four or five fans that really feel bad for you, or that are the same species as you, as a PEDO. I don't even count those people as human. And so you probably only have fans in that spectrum of the world. The pedos of the world and the people that just feel sad for you. And man, I would hate to have that fan base. That's terrible, dude. But I just want to expose you and how much of a shitty person you are. And how much deflecting and projecting you do in this. It's just golden. Let's go. Let's go. And sorry, I'm in a chair that creaks right now. Damn chairs are rocking chair. Jeez. Girl was of age, and we don't really know if she was drunk or not. And we don't really know if, she, if he took advantage of her or not. We don't fucking know. Then why are you rehashing what you're saying? Just say sorry and actually mean it. And get on with your day. But you just can't do that. Like, he just found out, my informant that let me know, just found out that it may not even be true. And he let me know. So, yeah. Dummy. Dummy. Donkey of the day goes to Cyrax. And uh, today's donkey of the day is very sad. Donkey of the day for Monday, October 31st goes to 33-year-old Cyrax. So, you know, to Danny Brown, I do want to say that I apologize to you for that. I do apologize for throwing you under the bus like that, dude. I was in the wrong on doing that. 
So let me tell you one thing right now, dude. But let me tell you one thing right now, dude. No, you don't have to tell him anything. Are you dumb? Stupid or dumb? Huh? He's not going to listen. He might watch on his own behalf just to make fun of you and laugh at you. But he's not going to react to you or do anything like that. I don't think so. You running your mouth about me on a live stream, that's not a good look for you. <laughs> What did you say? Yo, how can you say a fake accusation about something so serious that people get killed in jail for and you accuse somebody that might the accusation might not even be true, which it probably isn't, and then you say this. On a live stream? That's not a good look for you. <laughs> That's not a good look for that's not a good look for you. You have the audacity to say, this is not a... Cyrax, your whole look's not a good look for you. Just you existing's not a good look. Aliens are gonna look down on us, and hopefully they don't find you. They will make fun of us. I don't blame them. <laughs> How can our species breed such a retard like this person? People that actually have special needs have more comprehension. A special needs person is more capable of living life than Cyrax will ever will. And that's saying something, dude. That's not. That's not saying anything. Do you really think that any uh, professional company or label is going to want to work with you knowing that you are involved in ruining someone's life? Well, first of all, he has his own, I'm pretty sure he is, I think he might be under a label. And you think those labels really care that much, especially if they find out that person is a predator? They're not going to care. They're going to laugh. They brushed a lot worse things under the rug than this. Are you kidding me? And I'm thinking Danny Brown is, uh, like, independent. And plus, he's on a Your Mom's House podcast. He has his own podcast right now that people are loving. It's so icon. It's so dope. Danny Brown. Go to the Danny Brown show. That His podcast is just so good. Did I know if I was a record way, when I see you doing that, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. If you were, you wouldn't even know what to do if you were a record label. You'd run yourself to the ground. That's what you would do. You wouldn't know what, you wouldn't even know how to handle yourself. Like, I'm not signing you. Go, go somewhere else. Why? Is that what you're used to hearing? Is that what you're used to hearing, Cyrax? Let's go. Like, I'm not signing you. Go, go somewhere else. Yeah, that's what he's used to hearing. Sorry, Cyrax. Danny Brown actually has pure talent. His lyrics are really good, and the flow that he spits is it's off the Richter. Like, are you kidding me? You dumb. Cyrax, you have zero talent. Go listen to your old videos where you sing and play the drums on coffee tins. He has these coffee tins that are empty that he flips over. You know when you used to do in maybe grade 1, grade 2 when you want to play the air drum? But you don't want to play the air drum, you want to whack something. You get those co the ground up coffee things with the lids and you smack the lids. That's what Cyrax is doing and calling it art and music. Cyrax, wake up, you dumb infant. I respect your craft and I respect what you do, but what I cannot respect is you being a troll. I cannot respect that. Just because people make fun of you doesn't make them trolls, dummy. You you know what? You can call me a troll. I don't think I'm a troll. I don't go out of my way to go harass you or call you. I just make videos on you. And that could be labeled as a troll, don't get me wrong. But 
You don't know what a troll is, Cyrax. Apparently. If you think Danny Brown is a troll, you're lost. You're lost in this sauce, my boss. Like, what? I don't respect that, and I never will respect that. I'm sorry, I have need to stop pausing. The only reason why you don't respect that is because he's making fun of you. You pathetic little worm. You pathetic little mangled worm. But again, though, dude, bad aside, I do apologize for <laughs> what I said. Like I said, I don't know the full story. The dude that informed me on what Well, then don't talk on it, you dummy. You fool. Oh, you sparing burp and cum guzzling gutter slut, is what my hick uncle would say. But you dumb little rooted infant. And I would like to say I don't call special needs. Special needs people are actually people that don't know right from wrong, and I would never call them that word. Cyrax, on the other hand, this is a whole different ball game. Going on, just found out today, and, and you know, apparently he had a bad words. He doesn't know the full story himself. So, I mean, I do apologize for throwing you under the bus like that, dude. But, 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 that last video, though, would be a warning to anybody out there that does go after kids. Just know that if I find out about it, your ass is dead. Hypocrite. Yo, the audacity. Are you kidding me, Cyrax? Yo, you're making me want to come to the States and smack you up, dude. I'm what? I would never do that. Uh, you're a waste of my time. But you just saying this is so pathetic. You little mongloided little infant full of a human. Not even a human. A gremlin. A, I swear. If we find out you came from like a laboratory where you were, I don't know, somebody tried to make a corpse human again, this is what came out, and you came out of that lab, you're the lab experiment, I'd question it, but not too hard, dude. Look at you. You can't help but itch every 10 seconds of your life. You got a little bug biting at you. And you know what? I'm also that little bug. And you know what? All these other trolls. And I'm not saying the ones that actually bother you. And I mean the people that make videos on you. I hopefully people keep on making videos on you. And exposing you. And you are the next Chris Chan. The Grease Wizard is right. And I really believe one day... Sally is not going to be in a good position where she's living with you and something bad's going to happen. That is my guess. Allegedly. I don't know if I should say allegedly there, but that is my guess. You've already put your hands on her once. What's stopping you doing it twice? Or three times? Maybe you've done it more and you just haven't gotten caught. Who knows? If you could do it once, you could do it more. Like... I never once thought about touching my mother in any way. Like, ah. Uh. And that ain't no, that ain't no threat neither, man. That's a promise, dude. I catch any motherfucker going after a little kid, I'm beating your ass. You're just saying that to cover up your past right now. That's all you're doing right now. You're saying this. Because you know you've done such things in the past. So maybe this is to make you f make yourself feel better. Or maybe this is to also hide up what you did in the past, like I said. Like, you're probably doing to it. Like, maybe you're... See, I don't think you're that smart, though. I really think you're just trying to um, coddle yourself. Make yourself feel better from your mistakes. From talking to minors. Because I don't fuck around with that shit. Yes, you do. I don't. Yes, you do. That's disrespectful. It's fucked up. And it, it shouldn't happen in the first place. Well, no it's shit, Cyrax. Well, no shit.
Come on, read what you're reading. Come on, say it out loud, Cyrax. Spit it out. No, 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 no. Bro, he's re he can't even read. He's so dumb. But I was asked to come on here by my friends and my family, you know, as a suggestion, you know, to make things right. And I'm here as a suggestion. No, I think you got scared because lots of people started seeing what you were saying about him, and his fans scared you, Cyrax, you fool. They're making shit right. So, no, I'm not coming back, but I do feel like, you know, when I hear about somebody going after a little kid, and they're a major artist, that don't look good. Guys. The word of the day is the audacity. Or maybe it's two words. The audacity. Jeez. And that's why I stepped on the set on because if this shit was real, you know, the public deserves to know that this dude's a piece of shit. You know what? He's learned. Since all the people that did that to him, maybe he's learning. Maybe he's doing that to other people. Oh, Cyrax, you think we're so naive and stupid like you, but we're not. <clears throat> but as I said. But as I said. Now, he can't read. The guy can't read. He either needs glasses or English lesson. I don't know. Um, I as I said. As I said. I do apologize. But, but the one thing I'll never apologize for is me being real. I will never apologize for being real, and I will never, ever... What are you going to say, Cyrax? Spit it out. I'm almost ending this, Cyrax. And I mean, I will never, ever apologize or bow down to any trolls. Danny Brown isn't a troll, first of all. Second of all, you're the pedo. Third of all, you're the most fakest person out there. You say fake stories. You're just overall a fake personality, fake person. You, everything about you is fake. Yeah, I don't think you know your real self. I really don't. I think you're just adapting on however you can. But yeah, I just had to show you guys this. It's just the audacity of them is just unfathomable. Like, it's crazy, dude. Guys, I'm going to end this right here. Make sure you like, subscribe. If you like these lol cows videos, I'm going to be doing more of them. Plus, I have my own Twitter if you want to follow me there. I don't know. Uh... My videos have been, uh, I don't know if I'll lose my monetization or my YouTube channel. I hope I don't. I try to edit out as much as I can, but with keeping it raw at the same time, and it's so hard. But I'm getting flack from YouTube. I really am. So if you see more edited stuff, I'm sorry. And if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe. I do totally understand that. I try to do this raw as possible, but I just can't do it anymore but i'm gonna just i'm gonna keep it raw i'm gonna try all right i just gotta clean it up a little bit but guys like subscribe turn on that notification bell i love y'all peace out